Hey everyone, welcome back to Chic Sims. Today we're back in Beverly Hills and today we are at Rodeo Drive and I thought it would be a perfect time to do a shopping themed video because the holiday season is literally right around the corner and a lot of people will be doing shopping for the holidays. Uh, whichever holiday you celebrate, uh, most people will be doing some form of shopping <laughs> so I thought it would be perfect. Uh, to do or do drive. So I tried my best to catch to capture the essence of Rodeo Drive. Uh, Rodeo Drive is an amazing place to shop uh, because it, it has a lot of flagship stores for all the top designers that you can think of. Um, it's an amazing place. A lot of tourists love to go to Rodeo Drive so um, I actually pretended that I was a tourist and I captured some footage for you guys that you'll see uh, in this video. Um, so Rodeo Drive has a lot of palm trees, um, especially I would say the commercial side of Rodeo, which is the side we're focusing on today. Uh, there's definitely a lot of palm trees here. Now that it's the holiday season, we definitely have some amazing Christmas lights and uh, just, I guess, holiday lights. <laughs> and I wish we had those in the game, some tree lights, um, but we don't. But that's what I was trying to capture here to kind of show you guys. The street is aligned with palm trees and it looks pretty beautiful at night when you're there. Um, so yeah, this is a place for our sims, for my sims, to come and have that um, experience of shopping. Especially because we have the chic uh, boutique update, so we have a lot of stuff now that caters to, to sims who love to shop. <laughs> so over here, I was trying to capture the essence, like I said before, of Rodeo Drive. So. I'm going to be doing some comparisons here and there um, of the real Rodeo and what I did in the game. Now of course we know that it's not going to look exactly the same because we do have a lot of limitations in the game. Uh, but over here, uh, that is the Louis Vuitton store on Rodeo Drive. As you can see, the real one is a lot bigger, a lot uh, nicer, <laughs> but I did the best that I could. And, you know, this is one thing about Rodeo Drive, uh, it does have a, a nice uh, mix of architecture. Um, there's a lot of European inspired architecture. Uh, I see a little bit of uh, Parisian. Uh, I see a little bit of Venetian style. I mean, it's just, it's just a, a gorgeous place. Um, so yeah, here we are at the beginning of Rodeo. Um, for those of you who may know, this is the beginning side, uh, right by Wilshire Boulevard, uh, where, uh, I think Tiffany & Co. Uh, yeah, so there are just a lot of amazing stores here. And as you can see, I was just trying my best to, to really capture that, uh, the magic of it all. So over here is my uh, version of the Chanel store, which is definitely my one of my favorite places in the world. <laughs> um, so this is the real one, and I tried to use uh, as many things in the game as, as that I could that would capture this essence, and I think I got pretty close uh, because we do have these huge windows in the game. Um, I just wish we had more signs with real letters in the game, so maybe we could actually have some some actual, you know, we can spell out some real things in the game, but unfortunately we don't have that. Um, so that was the Chanel store. And with a lot of the other stores, I didn't really want to copy, uh, make carbon copies of every store. I just kind of got inspiration from the different stores there and just kind of put different things together um, because of course we don't have a lot of space. Um, but one thing I will say is uh, a lot of the stores in this uh, build that I did, um, they're actually full functioning stores. Your sims can actually go inside and and buy things in them. So this is some, one of the window displays at Rodeo and uh, as you can see, I, I tried my best to capture that. 
uh, with the mannequins we have in the game and some of the display items that we have as well. And of course, this is uh, somewhere our Sims can sit down because uh, on different spots on Rodeo, on the real Rodeo, uh, there's different areas for people to sit down and just, you know, you can have a chat with your friend or just take a break from shopping. Um, so like I said, Rodeo Drive typically has a lot of tourists, <laughs> so I, I try not to shop there. Um, but every now and then, if what I'm looking for is not at my regular store, they may send you to the Rodale Drive uh, store because, uh, like I said, that's where the flagship stores are and they normally carry most of the stuff. Uh, so sometimes I will have to go there, but I'm not complaining or anything. <laughs> so over here we have these windows that... Um, if you see, like we in the real Rodeo Drive, we actually have something similar. And um, I'm so glad that we have so many different things in the game now, uh, more shapes of things, and it just kind of just makes it more realistic. Um, so we're able to, to remake a lot of things that are, um, that are in real life. Um, and I thought this, this window display over here, I thought it, it looked very similar to these windows that we have here. And I'm not really sure what part of the game where we got those windows, but I think they look uh, pretty close to that. So over here, uh, this is the other side of Rodeo. Um, this is, I think I got inspiration from uh, the Ralph Lauren store. Um, and I used those, uh, those are actually those chairs that we have, the outdoor. I uh, think they're pool chairs, I'm not really sure, but I, I used those, they just added an, an essence to it, uh, like a real storefront. And over here, uh, this store, I think I got inspiration from just walking on Rodeo, um, just seeing the different architecture, and I, you know, I think it was the Tom Ford store. Um, so our sims can have that similar experience that we have <laughs> that when we're uh, shopping in real life. I'm one of those people that I try to make my game as close to reality as possible. Um, I know there's some people who like the fantasy aspect of it, which I do too, but I also like to, to have some things in it that are more uh, realistic so that I can, um, my sims can have a more... I guess human experience <laughs> if that makes sense to you it's just something more that I can relate to my sims better that way um, so yeah this is the I think this is the Tom Ford store and um, yeah I try to capture some of that in here with this build So I try to do, uh, try to use as much stuff as possible from the Chic Boutique update in here because I thought this would be the perfect time to use them, to use them um, for the window displays here. So uh, I'm so glad that we, we have that stuff. Otherwise it would just be impossible to have done this. Um, it was gonna, it would have been really difficult to do it. So over here we have a seating area, which uh, I actually got from I emulated, of course, uh, what is on Rodeo Drive. Um, we have places that we can sit down, like I said, from shopping um, or you waiting for someone. And this is the footage that I captured. And this is why I try to use those chairs, those uh, green, simple green chairs uh, that we had in the game because I think they're the closest, uh, they're the closest thing that we have to these kind of chairs. So there's my sim just sitting down, just waiting or resting. Um, so yeah, this is what we have over here. So here we have these huge windows at the Saint Laurent store on Rodeo. And um, I use these windows that we have in, in the game also to kind of uh, capture that. Uh, of course, Rodeo is a shopping destination, so of course they have a lot of huge windows, uh, huge displays, so I try to do that as well in the game. I try to 
could use as many windows as I possibly could, especially the large ones, so they were able to see what's inside uh, a lot better. For your sims that want to do some window shopping, they can definitely do that here. Um, so for the displays, I used, um, I think I used some items from the birthday, the children's birthday party, because I think they were perfect. And I used, um, you know, just some of the, the shoes, the bags, the display items. So over here, we have our sims chatting, you know, and then uh, one of my sims crossing the crosswalk because <laughs> we have, I think we have a couple of crosswalks on Rodeo. I just try to honestly get it as close as possible as I possibly could <laughs> so even where I put the crosswalk is where there's an actual crosswalk um, just trying my best to make sure that I captured it for you guys as closely as possible so I really hope you guys uh, maybe are inspired by this build and you can build something uh, similar for your sims or possibly uh, you know your favorite places to shop as well in your hometowns or places you've visited um, I would love to see that as well. Um, I would love to see more shopping, uh, more commercial builds actually in the game um, because mostly we have residential, even the lots we have are more residential, but um, I'm just trying to do the best I can here. So I used a large lot from the island. So over here, this is a photograph. Uh, I just took some screenshots for you guys and I edited this one. Um, so yeah, I hope this is just to show you guys more uh, stuff so you can see it more during the day and get some inspiration from it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, this uh, video. I know a lot of people uh, enjoyed the Beverly, the previous Beverly Hills video that I did. So if you guys want to see more of those, just give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe, and take care.